So my sister is really addicted to playing LOL, which is League of Legends, and if you haven't heard of that game, which I'm pretty sure you have, I'll have all the links below. But this is a tutorial for Timo's hat that you see here. And um, when you guys are ready, let's begin. Just a quick heads up, if you guys want these charms, it's right in my store. And um, yeah, check it out. Okay, so with this charm, it's going to be a little bit different, but you're going to grab the charm, create a small ball, and then you're going to wrap it around your finger. Now, we're doing this because since it's a hat, you can actually fit it on your finger, which I don't really have a point for unless you're like in class and you're really bored, but um, it's just for fun. So as you can see here, I'm molding it around my finger size, and I know everyone's finger is a little bit different, um, so... That's why you should probably wrap it around your finger. But um, once you're done with the size that you like, you're going to remove it from your finger and then with your X-Acto you're going to trim the edges. Now you can lay it on a flat surface to pat it down and get that nice shape. And once you do get that shape, it's time to work on the rim of the hat. Now it's really easy, grab your clay and you're going to roll it up into a tube, kind of like a worm and you're going to wrap that around the hat. Now, when it touches the other side, um, you're going to blend it in and try to make sure that the crease does not show. That's the key part because um, in hats, it really doesn't show. So try your best to blend it in without losing the shape. Now here I'm working on the small details for the hat, which is the goggles, and it's very easy. You're going to grab two pieces of clay, flatten them down, and then with the X-Acto, you're going to cut out squares or rectangles. Um, you want to make sure that the size is pretty decent, so occasionally check back and um, place it on the hat and see if it looks really good. And once you're done with the lenses, you want to move on with the straps. Now the straps are also very easy. You're going to roll out a piece of clay, flatten that, and then with your X-Acto edge, you can create the small nicks in the band. So it looks something like that. So you want to create the band that's also around the hat, and that's really easy, of course. You um, grab a piece of clay, you flatten it out like a worm, and then you're going to create the nicks using the X-Acto. So you can see it right here. It's fairly simple, and then just pat it all the way down to the end. And when you're really satisfied with the band, you can place it on the hat like so. So this is what it should look like if you followed all the steps up to this point. And we're going to add the last remaining details, which is, I think, a blue feather or it's some kind of furry ball on top of his hat. And you're going to create that. It's kind of like a flame. Um, so that's the best way I can describe it. And it's pretty easy to make. So, And you can do whatever you want with this one. It's really not too um, specific. So when you're happy with your shape, you just place it right on top of the hat. Now the last thing is to add the ears, and the ears are basically two triangles, and you can put them right on the hat as well. So it should look like this. Not too shabby, right? And this is what it should look like after firing. So for me, I like to start off with black because it allows you to create depth into the charm and it adds shading as well. After that, you can add all your base colors, which is the green, and then you can move on to the goggles, which is red, and then you have his blue little furry thing on top of his hat. So just add all the details, take your time, and the more layers you add, the stronger your charm will be. Now, Timo has a lot of details, so for me, if you would really want to take your time, make sure you grab everything, which is also the blue lens um, in his goggles, and then you got his ears, and if you're really um, up for it, you can start adding the black lining for the band around his hat. So, um, like I said, take your time, because the more time and detail you put into this charm, the better it's going to really turn out. So this is what I got, and hopefully you did too. So you can get these charms at my store, which is Zig's Bomb, Philosopher's Stone, and The Wards. Check it out, I'll have the links below. Thanks for watching as always. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.